Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video is going to be a just like a vlog recap showing you guys what I did this past Saturday. I went to a event, an event down here in Miami called A Brunch of Curls and it was put on by Valencia, the creator and owner of Honey's Handmade which I'll be reviewing their products very, very soon. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post those, that, and some more videos. So anyways, I went to this event that she put on and it was a beautiful event. It was an amazing event. I just had to come on first and say hello. How are you? And I'm gonna show you guys the footage and talk through it a little bit so you can see what went down at this event. It was a natural hair event. They had brunch, they had performances, they had a panel discussion, a really, really good discussion that was really, really necessary and really, really um, important for the black natural hair community. Like, great discussion. They had all types of vendors, these beautiful, beautiful earrings. Yes, I know like to die for they were I bought them at the events and I will put the person that I bought them from her information down in the description box as usual if you follow me on Instagram up here somewhere which you should follow me on Instagram because why not but I posted everything that I got at the event on Instagram. So go ahead and comment under that picture which of the items you want to see me review. Stay tuned, keep on watching. You want to see this bomb natural hair black excellence pop-in event that I just went to. <laughs> And no one knows what we're feeling and what we're going through inside. And we go home and we take off the makeup and we take off the clothes and reality comes back. And this is what a lot of us face on a daily basis. I don't mean to make anyone sad because it's supposed to be a joyful occasion, but I just want you to share my testimony and just to give hope to someone in this room today. Okay, it is regarding actually conditioner. Okay, a lot of people out there say it's not necessary. You can get a simple like two in one. That's what I mean. Like the two in one, the shampoo and the conditioner, 
Is that really like effective? Have any of you used the two-in-one conditioner and shampoo? Is it better to use shampoo and conditioner? What would you? No. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, you should use shampoo and conditioner. Um, I know a lot of people would say don't shampoo your hair, only co-wash, but you got to think about the environment that you're in. Like things constantly fall on your hair all the time. Like you're walking near a dumpster, you're walking near pollution. Like she was just saying, like you're out in the club and then you go, <laughs> you know, go to church next morning. Eventually, you gotta wash it because your hair is like carpet, like the carpet of your house. Your hair catch everything in the air, so you have to cleanse it and get rid of that smell. And then also with conditioner, conditioner it counteracts kind of what shampoo does. Shampoo helps you out as far as cleansing and getting everything out, but let's face it, it does dry your hair out. So conditioner goes back and rebalances that hair so you can have your hair feeling somewhat normal again. So you gotta do both. How often should you wash your hair with shampoo? I personally shampoo my hair once a week. I recommend that you don't go more than two weeks without shampooing your hair. Because that's a long time to go walking around and you got stuff falling in your hair. It's not just the stuff falling in your hair, but it's also the products you're putting in it. You gotta get that stuff out. I just wanna know how do you navigate as an actress you know, with having natural hair and keeping your identity? Yeah, that's a, that's a really great question. Um, the older I get, first off, the older I get, the more comfortable I get in my own skin. And the more accepting I am of my natural condition, my natural skin, my natural hair, etc. Uh, this business is very rough when it comes to black women and being in your natural state. I've had, I mean, it's been, I can't begin to explain how tumultuous it has been for me personally because the industry doesn't really accept or the industry probably doesn't know how to interpret black women as we are. So uh, for a long time I had my hair permed and then when I decided to go natural, I thought it looked amazing. I was okay with myself, but I was called in for different roles. The casting directors would actually say, well, oh, you look like you're the social worker, or you're the blue collar mom, or you're the, you know, the single mom or something, just because my hair was natural. And after a while of getting a little frustrated with that, I decided to become unbelievable, you know, so I had the, the long weave and everything, and immediately, the types of roles changed. I was called in for the leading lady, I was called in for the girlfriend, I was called in, you know, for the doctor, you know, so many, it was, it was shocking for me personally. And then after a while, I, I got married and I had a daughter and I realized that I wanted her to be natural. I wanted other little girls to feel okay with being who you are. We don't wake up with our hair long, it's, it's not how we are naturally. So when I decided to go natural, that was another drama in and of itself, just dealing with the casting directors and dealing with the projects, but thank God for Michelle Obama, <laughs> because after Michelle Obama, it's almost like the world began to see black women in a different light. It's like mama said, we, we have to learn self-love. We do have to love ourselves. And you know, like she said, some people, they're not worthy. Like she was saying, I'm sorry. Like some people, they're not worthy, you know what I mean, to, 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 to be in your presence. Mama, you beautiful. All of y'all in here, y'all beautiful. Rock y'all hair the way y'all wanna rock y'all hair. Don't let nobody tell y'all different. We're I mean, already I'm, I'm, gonna I'm, buy the CD. No, I'm, no, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. As, 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 as far as that goes, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm real big. I have a, a, a campaign called No Apologies. I'm unapologetic in my actions because I, I really, like, I'm. Your acceptance is not going to validate me. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's like, when you go to work, they don't pay me. When you eat, I don't get full. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's that, that self-worth, that knowing your worth and, and, and pushing. You just got to lead by example. If, if you want to show her the love, then be blatant with it. Show You show it to her in front of her. You know what I mean? And, and just be an example. That's, all I, that's the only advice I can give you because you can bring the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink it. If you're gonna be ignorant, let him be ignorant by yourself. So, what did you guys think of the event? I loved it. It was great. It was amazing. Very informative. 
love the products. Love the products. Love, yes. products. <laughs> love the um, you know black small businesses. Mm -hmm. you know, women um, supporting women. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. And down here we don't have that. A lot of those events we don't really have a lot of Miami natural hair events, so it was cool. Yes, it's they really need good. more stuff like that. You yes. know, they need to to show like you know you need to be proud of your natural hair. Mm -hmm. You know, you know like promote small businesses, African American businesses. I'm leaving here and I'm feeling really full. Like, you know how you leave someplace and you feel like satisfied and you feel full and you feel like it was well worth it. Like, I'm just really freaking happy that I came out. Like, I'm really happy that I came out here. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.